about six years ago, I began to feel a tug on my heart. My husband, Ron, and I had one child, Abby, who was 10, and I began to feel that perhaps God wanted to grow our family. I always wanted a bigger family, but Abby was 10 and life was easy. I'd settled in a really good groove as a husband and father. No need to mess things up. Not only did I feel like God wanted us to grow our family, but I was really feeling like He wanted us to grow it by giving a family to a child who otherwise wouldn't have one. Perhaps God wanted us to adopt a child, so I mentioned it to Ron. Having another child was one thing, but adoption was nowhere on my radar. I wasn't sure what Katie was thinking. I just knew she was serious, which was seriously freaking me out. My husband, Ron, loves children, but I knew his biggest concern was the process of adoption, not the idea of growing our family. Ron simply didn't want to get his hopes up only to have the rug pulled out from under him halfway through the process. I began to trust that if this really was a perhaps God moment for us, then God would speak to Ron's heart too. God wasn't speaking to my heart, but I love kids. I love trust and believe in Katie. So I let her know that I was with her that if she believed God wanted us to adopt, then I was in. The issue wasn't totally settled in my heart, but in this thing with Katie, if God was speaking to her, then I was with her, heart and soul. So we began the adoption process, and through it, God introduced us to Ella, a spunky, joy-filled seven-year-old girl. Adopting Ella was wonderfully life-changing. Abby gained a sister, we gained a daughter, and Ella gained a family. Life was good. Our family was complete. No need to mess things up. Not long after Ella joined our family, I had another perhaps God moment. Began to feel like maybe God wasn't finished growing our family yet. Maybe he wanted us to adopt again. Adopting Ella had been such a wonderful experience. I was pretty sure that Ron would be excited to do it again. I wasn't very excited. Was it a wise decision? Could we handle another child? Could I handle another child? Do we have enough room in our home? Did I have enough room in my heart? Those were just some of the questions running through my mind. But once the initial panic wore off, those questions were actually pretty easy to answer. Not because I had all the answers to them, but because I know that God had put this on Katie's heart for a second time, and he quickly put it on mine too. So once again, we began the adoption process, and through it, God introduced us to Cooper, who was at the time seven weeks old. A few years ago, I would have never imagined adopting two children, but now it's impossible for me to think of the Edwards family without Ella and Cooper. Abby is 16, Ella is 13, and Cooper is five. Life is good. No need to mess things up. Well, we probably shouldn't say that. Remember, perhaps God. You're right, and I'm with you, heart and soul. Okay, ready? Okay.